With the infrastructure bill having finally passed and the critical need for renewable energy growing every single year, clean energy stocks are definitely becoming some of the highest growth investment opportunities in the market today. Electric vehicles are often the first things that come to mind when most people think about clean energy, but in reality, there is a whole other sector of stocks known as stationary power that will arguably have a bigger impact on reducing our carbon emissions while potentially growing even faster than EV stocks. In this video, I'll be sharing exactly one such stock that is setting up to be a relatively low risk clean energy play for the next couple of years. I'll be giving you guys a lowdown on the business, the company's financials, and at the end, I'll be sharing my price projections for this specific stock. But before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The stock in question is ticker symbol BE or Bloom Energy, which is an extremely well-established company that designs, manufactures, and sells hydrogen fuel cell systems for on-site power generation applications. These guys' main product is called the Bloom Energy Server, which uses Bloom's patented solid oxide technology to convert any common fuel like natural gas, biogas, or even clean hydrogen into usable electricity with literally no combustion. And because of all of this, all of Bloom's customers can power their offices, data centers, and facilities with essentially zero carbon emissions, which obviously allows a lot of these companies to meet their environmental goals. And this is exactly what makes the infrastructure bill a huge opportunity for Bloom stock, because as more money is poured into providing carbon credits, more and more businesses will want to shift to cleaner ways of powering their warehouses, office spaces, and general infrastructure. And this bill could also help the hydrogen economy in a number of ways. For example, this bill dedicates around $14 billion for resiliency programs and includes another $11 billion for grant programs for states, utilities, and other organizations to make resilience improvements. It also puts around $3 billion worth of investment into grid flexibility and another $3 billion will go towards helping energy storage companies build out their manufacturing operations. So to me, what's clear is that the government is pushing investments in energy storage and clean energy technologies, and hydrogen is likely to be one of the beneficiaries of this. Because at the end of the day, hydrogen provides a valuable solution, its costs are coming down, and the manufacturing facilities are being built in the US very rapidly. So overall, Bloom Energy could could get a big boost from new government spending in the coming years, especially through this all new infrastructure bill. And the best part is that Bloom Energy already does around $800 million in revenue and actually has dozens of Fortune 500 companies that use their product full time. And as this company's net income and revenue grow over the next five years, that is something that will certainly deserve a multi $10 billion market cap, in my opinion, way higher than the current $3 billion price tag for this stock. As a matter of fact, Bloom's technology has officially been classified as world class since earlier this month, these guys were awarded the S&P Platts Global Energy Award. This award essentially praised these guys for their inventiveness and high efficiency of their electrolyzer technology, which means that this company will have a very clear competitive advantage when the hydrogen fuel cell sector gains popularity throughout this decade. However, even with all these accomplishments, we haven't even scratched the surface of Bloom's big growth opportunity. You see, not only does this company have arguably the best zero carbon power generation product out in the market, but it also has the partnerships in place to bring this award winning technology all across the world. Most recently, Bloom's in-house technology was selected to power the world's very first electric cruise ship that runs on hydrogen fuel cells. The ship is going to be called the MSC World Europa and is expected to begin testing in the second half of 2022, which should act as a huge catalyst for Bloom's stock. I mean, think about it, to truly replace fossil fuels, we will first need to decarbonize our most polluting industries. And the shipping industry has been proven to be one of the most highest polluting modes of transportation, which means that if Bloom is successful, successful with this project, they will become the technology supplier that all the other ship manufacturers would want to work with. And to add cherry on top of the cake, this cruise ship partnership news actually came around a month after a leading South Korean engineering company by the name of SK Ecoplant disclosed a $500 million investment in Bloom Energy. This news actually caused Bloom stock to go up almost 30% in a single trading day at the end of October, which can definitely be justified since on top of this investment, SK Eco Group also contracted roughly $4.5 billion in revenue from Bloom Energy over the next three years. This basically guarantees around $1.5 5 billion dollars in revenue every year for the next three years for Bloom Energy on top of the company's already very big revenue numbers. And as an investor, this exposure that Bloom will get from this partnership in South Korea, which is one of the fastest growing hydrogen markets in the world, is going to be a real game changer. 
So now that we know the top down of the business, let's get an understanding of the stock's valuation and how it can move over the next couple of years. As you can see right off the bat, the stock is trading at a relatively cheap price to sales ratio of around $4.3, while it grew its revenue by around 35% over the last five years. And on top of that, if you compare revenue and Bloom's gross margins, this company is well ahead of almost all of its nearest competitors like Plug Power and Ballard Power Systems. And since Bloom is expected to grow revenue by almost 30% next year, the stock's $3.8 billion valuation looks really cheap right now. And the best part is that unlike almost every other clean energy stock out there, this company is actually expected to be barely profitable in 2022. This is not only bullish for the stock's valuation, but it also reduces some of the downside risk for investors. Because in a higher interest rate environment like we're expected to see next year, stocks that don't make money tend to get destroyed. If we now move on over to the stock chart, you can see that Bloom Energy overall had a very, very decent 2021 as compared to a lot of the other stocks in the high growth clean energy sector. Similar to a lot of other stocks in this space, we saw a big run up in 2022, especially at the beginning of 2021. But obviously after we saw a lot of fear around inflation and growth stock investing in general, we saw this aggressive sell off that started in March and basically has lasted throughout the rest of the year. But like I had mentioned earlier in their video, this stock had a big news catalyst at the end of October which brought the stock from around 20 bucks a share all the way to around $25. On top of this, this move was actually accompanied by a lot of heavy volume, which tells me that a lot of hedge funds and a lot of institutional investors were actually behind this move. But obviously, as you can see, after peaking out at around $36 a share, the stock has since plummeted back down to earth on really no bad news. All we've seen happen is that the stock's valuation has been caught up in this small cap rotation that we've seen take place over the past couple of weeks. And since obviously the stock is also down year to date, there's arguably probably a lot of tax loss harvesting that a lot of investors are probably doing. But because of exactly that, in my opinion, this stock is at a great buying price right now. I've personally been accumulating shares anything under $24 on the stock, and if we get anything underneath 18 bucks, I will definitely start adding very heavy. Because as you can see, the stock went IPO in only 2018, and after selling off to around 2 bucks a share, the stock has pulled back pretty significantly from the highs it made at around 45 bucks. And the unique part is that this company has been doing business for almost 21 years now, which is something you can't really say about a lot of other clean energy and hydrogen fuel cell stocks out there. And because of that, the employee workforce this company has and the management team this company has on top of its execution, this company is definitely a very exciting investment opportunity for me in 2022. Given the revenue growth rates and the profitability that is on the horizon for this company, I certainly expect this to be well over a $10 billion market cap in the very near future. And because of that, my minimum price target for the long term is at least $50 a share. But anyways, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of Bloom Energy stock. And let me know any other clean energy or EV stocks you guys want me to cover on this channel. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.